this is uh, this is our end product. Um, you can see sort of uh, what we're what we're looking for um, in the end from uh, Inventor Studio. It's some sort of object, either rolling or falling down a hill. This could be a half pipe. It could be um, um, it could be like a spiral, like. Um, um, kid slide or something like that. Uh, the object doesn't necessarily have to be a sphere and what it runs into doesn't have to be a rectangle. Like, uh, some people made like a little person or something. <clears throat> I was just joking around with uh, making this ball roll into my STEM students. <laughs> so um, let's go and look at how this is put together. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick little tip and trick um, to make sure that this is correct so let's let's go back to um, let's go back to our assembly, okay? And what I want you to see is that this is dynamic simulation is still there. There we go. <clears throat> so um, using our you know um, orthographic views. You can place this wherever you want. Um, just make sure that it's, you know, sort of over the, the area that you want it to be. This object, you have uh, a couple different options. As long as it's perfectly flat on the bottom, this will work uh, what I'm about to show you. Um, so I'm going to go to Constrain, and I'm going to go to Mate, and I'm going to make the bottom of this to the bottom of this here okay and then and then I'm gonna move it around until you know I find where I want it to be I can slide it forward or backwards or or whatever I'm gonna click on this view and I'm gonna tell you this sometimes it creates an error when you gotta go to make the spatial constraint or the um, 3D contact, and if that happens, all you have to do, um, you're going to do this anyway, you're going to delete this, um, but what you can do anyway is you can lift this up a little tiny, tiny bit, now that it's perfectly perpendicular, it'll fall and land perfectly on here. You can even go until it's so close that you can barely even tell it's there, okay, and it'll fall and hit when you set everything up right. So let's show you how to set up everything right. Let's go to dynamic simulation. Um, I'm going to delete all of the things that I've made. The thing that I cannot delete um, that is actually part of <coughs> part of this is gravity. And um, you can either choose a vector component and have it go this way, or you can set your entity on like a, a corner edge or something like that. Okay. All right. So. Um, what I'll do is, um, if, if I hit play on our simulation player, it does nothing, okay? Because I haven't set anything up yet. So, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to set spatial constraints and 3D contacts. The spatial constraint is going to be between the sphere and the object. And uh, I'm going to hit OK just to show you. I'm going to hit play. That falls, and this doesn't. I did set... Um, I set this thing called trace to show you where this thing falls. You can only do a trace on one object. Um, so uh, you can choose, you know, whatever. You can choose this object or you can choose this one. Um, but so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to spatial and I'm going to choose this object and I'm going to choose the side of this over here. When I hit play now, this falls and so does the ball. All right. Now I need to make collisions, so I'm I'm gonna make a 3D contact <clears throat> between the ball and the ramp, the ball and the object, and the object and the ramp. Now when I hit play, you ready? Boop! It's gonna roll. It's gonna hit here. It's gonna roll down and it's gonna smash into my little object, okay? Now, the one thing I do wanna show you before 
I finish this video um, is you can select each one of these pieces <clears throat> and you can set the type of material um, I, I cut this off of my screen accidentally but it there's two different things there is the <clears throat> excuse me there is the um, this is like paint and if you go next to it this is the actual material of the object so it's this one steel and I made this one stainless steel it's the same thing same material um, this one's got obviously this one's got a little bit more mass um, I can show you by going to um, I have to go to I properties and I go to physical this has a mass of four pounds uh, and this has a mass of um, 1.8 pounds so this is heavier than that that's why it smashes into it pushes it all right last thing I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go to dynamic simulation you have to hit play for this to work I'm gonna hit play Boop. and don't hit construction mode come up here to publish to studio click on this little drop down right click here for animate parameters and we'll set so the for one second of movement this is 100 um, units of measure or uh, calculations and then if you want it to move faster you make this a smaller number if you want to make it slower you make this a bigger number okay um, I've already made one so you can see here I did it four seconds I'm just gonna show you real quick I'm gonna make this two seconds and rewind it back and rewind it back and hit play and you'll see it goes really fast I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna scoot it forward to six seconds rewind it hit play and you can see it goes a lot slower okay that's it